In the early morning hours of January 15th, going by universal time here, the Hunga Tonga volcano exploded with such a force that it sent an atmospheric shock wave completely around the globe and a moderately strong tsunami seen all across the Pacific Ocean. However, the shock wave is really subtle on satellite images, so I've done something to make it much clearer to see. Initially, I posted this to Twitter, but Twitter's potato compression kind of ruined it, and I've gotten lots of questions about what I did. So here goes. I downloaded today's satellite images from NOAA GOES-17 and GOES-16, specifically the long wave infrared, since that view is able to see cloud formations and weather systems all night long. Deep reds are the coldest clouds, while white is warm. But clearly the volcano's plume is visible in addition to that pressure wave. By slightly offsetting two layers of this video and subtracting information of one clip to the other, we can clearly see a difference between 10 minute time intervals. The shockwave completely crosses the Earth and 15 hours later arrives at the antipode, the anti-position on Earth from Tonga. This is in North Africa, somewhere over the Sahara Desert. At first, the pressure wave produced a boom almost deafening to people a few miles away. But the sound was reduced to just infrasound and pressure as it moved roughly at the speed of sound, as you would expect, from the blast site all the way to Africa. The shock seen around the world.